Do you know that our brain does not know the difference between the actual experiences and the imagined experiences? But how? Imagine this. You're standing on the edge of a cliff. The wind whips your face. You look down, your heart pounding. Your breath quickens, your legs tremble. But you're not actually there. You're lying on your couch. So why is your body reacting as if you are on that cliff? Because, dear viewer, your brain doesn't know the difference between reality and imagination. Yes, the brain that controls your every move can be fooled. It's time to uncover this thrilling mystery. Your brain, the ultimate supercomputer, constantly filters through information, images, sounds, emotions, sending signals to your body on how to react. But here's the catch. Whether you're living through an actual event or just imagining it vividly, your brain lights up in the same way. Why? Because the brain processes imagined experiences just like real ones. Take elite athletes, for example. Studies show that when they mentally rehearse a race or a routine, their brain activates the same regions as if they were physically performing it. This mental training builds neural pathways, making their real-world performance sharper. But isn't that bizarre? Their brain treats the imagined event as reality, strengthening the muscle memory without lifting a finger. What if I told you your brain does the same every day in ways you can't even begin to comprehend? Then there's the mystery of phantom pain. People who've lost limbs often report feeling intense pain in the missing body part. But how is that possible? Their brain hasn't yet accepted the absence of the limb, continuing to send signals that it's still there. Your mind believes the limb exists, so it reacts as if it does. Fiction? No. This is the terrifying power of the imagination. You know that feeling when you're home alone and you think you hear something? Your heart races? Your muscles tense, but when you check, there's no one there. Nothing happened. Still, your brain was convinced. You see, the brain has evolved to protect you from threats, and sometimes it reacts to imagined fears with the same intensity as real ones. But here's where things get even stranger. The brain's inability to distinguish between reality and imagination isn't all bad. In fact, you can harness this power. Visualization, picturing yourself succeeding, actually improves your chances of real success. Your mind believes it's already achieved the goal, rewiring itself to make that vision come true. But beware, this power can go both ways. When you imagine worst case scenarios, when you dwell on failures, your brain believes those thoughts. It prepares your body for that impending doom sending waves of stress and anxiety as if it's already happening. Your imagined failures become a reality in your mind long before they ever come true. So can your brain tell the difference between what is real and what is imagined? Not always. The lines blur. And in that space between reality and fantasy lies untapped potential, lurking fears, and dangerous possibilities. What will you let your mind believe? What worlds will you create in your head? And how will they affect the world around you? Be careful what you imagine, because to your brain, it's as real as anything.